No sign of forced entry. Okay, ID? Lease says Victor Moore pays three grand a month. Premises rented for work only. Some work. If I did stuff like this, I wouldn't advertise either. Well, look at her eyes. They look like marbles, huh? Oh, she ain't half bad. I'd take her out for coffee. He makes some, dresses him up kinky, and then photographs him. Yo, Pooley. These two guys in leather, you know, Batman and Robin, you sure they came out of here? Well, when they saw us, they ran. Our camera was in the lot, print on the steps. Whoa, this looks like the camera was snapping while he died. Oh, someone wanted a souvenir. That's sick. <laughs> well, you know what the Bible says, Max. As you sow, so shall you reap. Nobody deserves to die. He hasn't lived here for months. Just what exactly are you looking for? Ma'am, we're just trying to find out what happened. What happened is that somebody killed my husband. Softball? The Soho Artist League. Victor's a baseball fanatic. Me too. Victor always said there were three ways you could tell what somebody was like. How they ran the bases, books they read, things they saved. Frank's diner? Mm. Around the corner. Victor liked to sketch there. Elaine's. My agent took us. The iron bar. The iron bar. Man with a baseball cap. He's been in here a couple of times. And last night? <laughs> it's crowded. I just served. Well, you know, maybe uh, I'll walk around the block. Maybe your memory will get better. Or I'll get angrier. All right, all right, all right. He was here, all right? Hanging on some weird blonde. Weird what? Bleached what? Weird like like Marilyn Monroe back from the dead, but 6'2", with these blue-green stripes in her hair. Where might we find this lady? She works in a leather shop, the erogenous zone. In belts, you want only alligator. In harnesses, saddle leather, like a good briefcase or a nightstick. You hang out at the iron bar? <laughs> Those rough types aren't for me. My milieu, a place called Best Friends, in the West Village. Gay preppies, the ones with Dartmouth and Yale on their t-shirts. You were at the Iron Bar last night. I wanted a club soda. It was close. 500 bucks? Newborn calf. That tanned. We're the only store in New York that carries it. Who buys this uh, stuff? That leather has no grain. It's like wearing skin. Reminds you the animal was once alive, if you like that sort of thing. Did you leave with Victor last night? I didn't know the man from Adam. He wasn't looking for me anyway. He wanted Brian, who used to belong to me. You like this? One of our young curators liked it. I think it's junk. And Victor Moore? His death didn't make his pictures any better. But you're still going to give him a show. Let me explain something to you. That show is being put on because the city put up part of the money, and the rest of it is coming from one of our private patrons. Let me take a guess. Henry Rothman. <laughs> Mr. Rothman could hardly afford it. Elizabeth Hendrick. As in the Hendricks who own the entire world? Would you do this show if Hendrick and the city weren't paying for it? Detective. There is no art without money. Miss Hendrick, the circumstances of Victor Moore's death, don't you find that shocking? Van Gogh cut off his ear. Edvard Munch hung half of his paintings in the woods, where they ended up rotting. Gauguin abandoned his family and went to Tahiti. Art would be much more pleasant if we didn't have to deal with artists. Did you know Mr. Moore or his friends? Or... I understand Mr. Moore was a private person, reclusive. <laughs> you seem surprised that I'm not shocked. 
I'm surprised you are. Uh, you have to deal with, uh, what do the newspapers call it, sleaze, all the time. The sleaze we deal with doesn't usually end up hanging in a museum. Victor Moore was a good artist. Would I want to sit down to dinner with him? No. I'm sorry. I am late for a meeting, so if there's nothing else... You never carried these with gold chain. We might have. And you don't know Elizabeth Hendrick. The customers don't wear name tags. <laughs> I just take their money. Mike, I must be crazy, but why do I think that Kathy knows exactly who Elizabeth Hendrick is? And I might be crazy, but I think a lot of the respectable citizens that come and buy this sicko stuff might decide they didn't need it if we put a police cruiser out front. Hmm. I think Elizabeth Hendrick might have been in here once or twice. Or more. Yes, maybe. Maybe three or four times. I have received over 100 phone calls in the last hour. A commissioner is being dragged through the mud, and it looks like we're responsible. I hope you have something. It gets worse. How can it get worse? What would you say if I told you that Elizabeth Hendrick is connected to this? That's worse. 